Hello, everyone. I'm Augusta Myers. Let's take a brief look at what's been going on in city-related news the past week or so. The city of Albuquerque is partnering with Palindrome Communities to renovate and repurpose the Imperial Inn Motel on Central Avenue in East Downtown. When completed, the project includes 52 guest rooms, 16 residential suites, and approximately 4,400 square feet of rentable commercial space that will be located in existing structures and in two newly constructed buildings. The city's film office finished 2020 with an impressive list of wins despite the seven-month film industry shutdown. In fact, much like a twist in a Hollywood thriller, the year will be remembered as a surprise smash. The AFO not only made significant internal technological enhancements, but it also worked to safely maintain external engagement, supporting the local industry and workforce while stepping up national visibility. And when it comes to national performance measures, Milken Institute's 2021 Best Performing Cities report shows economic vitality improved significantly here in the Duke City in spite of the pandemic. Albuquerque checks in at number 89 among Tier 3 cities. That's 72 spots higher than the 2020 report. Milken uses a special index to evaluate how well cities promote economic vitality in comparison to other similar cities. And ABQ Ride is modifying its schedules in light of the governor's recent order moving Bernalillo County from the COVID-19 red level to yellow. As cases increased last November, Transit adjusted its schedules in keeping with public health needs. Now, with a steady drop in the number of daily cases in Bernalillo County, ABQ Ride is again adjusting schedules to add more service and some routes. Find the full schedule at cabq.gov. And that will do it for this week's City News for Now. Be sure to join us again for our next installment right here on One Albuquerque Media. I'm Augusta Myers. Thanks for joining me.